All right, so in this video, we're going to be working with drafts. We're going to be uh, calculating a mean draft, quarter mean draft, and then using the deadweight scale to determine how much cargo, uh, well, what our displacement is and how much cargo we can put on there. So uh, first thing we've got to do is uh, get the average of our forward, aft, and midships draft. So you can see here is our port and starboard for forward, aft, and midships. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, our forward average. All right, is 22, so let's see, there's port and there's starboard, okay? So let's see, we had uh, 2209, all right, and uh, 2301. All right, and then we sum those up, that becomes 10. And uh, three and five is two, uh, two and three is five, and that's 45, uh, yeah, three, that's 45. Okay, 45, 10. Okay, 45 feet, 10 inches. Well, um, I got to get uh, the, the, the average of these two drafts is going to be half of 45, 10. Well, half of 45 is kind of a pain. That's going to be 22 feet, 6 inches. Uh, half of 10 is easy. That's just 5 inches. Well, if I make this an even number, it's going to make everything a lot better. So I'm going to take one foot from here, 45, I'm going to add it over here. Well, one foot is 12 inches. So I'm going to take one foot from here and add 12 inches over there. I'm going to make this 44. Uh, that's 22. Okay. Now it's very easy for me to do the math. What's half of 44? Well, that's 20 and 2. So that's 22 feet, 22. And what's half of 11? Uh, 22. Well, that's 11. And so that is my average draft forward, 22, 11. Okay, so let's do it for the uh, aft drafts now. All right, so the aft draft was 2604. Okay, uh, let's see here. That's uh, 2604. Okay, and uh, 2610. Okay, that was just given to us. So that's 26. 10. Okay, I'm going to add those two up. So 10, and that's 14. 6 and 6 is 12. That's 2, 1. That's 4. That's 52. Okay, now that's an even number, so I'm just going to leave it that way. So half of 50 is 25 plus extra. That's 2. That's going to be 26. Okay, and then 14 will be 7. Okay, so that's my, all right, that's good right there. All right, great. Now let's just do the midships draft too. Okay. Uh, midships was 2402 and 2406 so we we'll just do the same thing again all right we add those up that's 08 24 and 24 is 48 okay so that's 2404 okay and that's my midships draft all right great all right now well, what we're going to do now is we've got to calculate our mean draft. Well, our mean draft is the average of these two, is the four and a half. So I'm going to add those two now. All right. Uh, I'm going to take, uh, so the mean is going to be uh, 2607. And I'm going to add 2211. So that's going to give me uh, 4818. And half of that is 24, and half of that is 09, and that is my mean draft right there. Okay? So the mean draft, the answer to the mean draft is 2409. Okay? So 2409. Okay? Great. Now, we want to know what is the vessel's trim. Well, the vessel's trim is the difference between the four and a half drafts. So let's figure out what that is now. Okay. So. Uh, I'm going to get uh, the difference between those two. So let's do that now. So I have uh, 26, 07, minus 22, 11. All right. And uh, that gives me, uh, well, I can borrow one from here and add 12 over there. So let's, let's do that. That's, that becomes 25. And if I add 12 and 7, that should be 19. So 11 from 19 is 8 inches. 
and uh, that's three feet eight inches. So that's my uh, that's my vessel's trim, and it's trimmed by the stern. The stern is more deep, okay? And that answer goes right down here, 3-0, oh, oh, actually, that doesn't go there. So that is my trim, okay? And, uh, okay, now, uh, determine uh, hogging or sagging by how much. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare my mean draft to my midships draft. So here's my mean draft, mean draft. That was 2409. And my midships draft was 2404. Okay. So that's a difference of five inches. Okay. Now there's a little saying here. Uh, it can go a couple different ways. But if the mean is more, you're hogging. Okay. If the mean is less, you're sagging. So, and you can see here that the mean draft is greater than the uh, midships draft. Okay, so this vessel is hogging. Okay, all right, and it's hogging by five inches. Okay, now next step is to go into the blue book. Okay, well, to go to the blue book, we need uh, we need to know what our uh, our draft is, right? Well, we calculated our mean draft. Excuse me, just a second. I gotta I gotta get this back up here. All right, let me just get that back up there. Okay. So uh, we calculated our mean draft, 2409, but it turns out that, you know, for ships, um, you can see here that the vessel was hogging, all right, and uh, the midsection of the vessel is really where most of the vessel is. So what we want to do now is we want to use the mean of mean of means, okay? So the mean of mean of means, the formula for that is the, uh, it's the forward draft, plus the aft draft, plus six times the midship draft. And uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, divided by eight, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do that. So let's see, let's bring these back up here so we can see all these. We're gonna do 2211 plus that's the forward draft. The aft draft is 2607. Plus six times the midships draft. So that's 2404. Okay, that's a four. Okay. Well, it turns out that we got a probably the easiest thing for us to do now is to uh, uh, convert these inches, okay, convert these inches into um, decimal feet, okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to divide the 11 by 12. I'm going to divide all the inches by 12, all right, and uh, that's going to give me a decimal, all right. So this becomes uh, 22. Point 9.2 plus 26.58 plus 6 times 24 point, uh, what is that, uh, 3, 3, right, 3, 3, okay. And that's all going to be divided by 8. Okay. Well, if you do all that math, you're going to end up with 195.48 divided by 8. And that's going to equal 24.44. Okay. Now we want to put this back into inches. Okay. So we got feet, decimal feet. We want to put it back in inches. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the 44, okay, times 12. So this is going to equal 24 plus 12 times 0.44, okay? And when you do that math, you get 2405.2. Okay? That is our mean and mean and means draft. Okay. Well, now that we have that, we can go to our um, our dead weight scale. It is here. Okay. Now, 
Our draft is 2405.2. So here's 20, here's our 24. All right. And, uh, all right. Here's 24, 25, 24, 3, 4, 5. Here's 24, 5. Okay. Well, let's get our, let's get our displacement. Okay. So here's our displacement over here. So that to me looks like 12,500, 600, 700. So our displacement is 12,700. Okay. So let's just move this over here for a minute. We're going to need that again in a minute. All right. That's one, two, seven, zero, zero. All right. Now, uh, we have 480 tons of crew stores and 900 tons of fuel at our previous calculated draft. That's not from question six. It's, it's question six, not 38. How much cargo do you have on board? Okay. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to, we can do this a couple different ways. I'm going to do it off of the dead weight scale. All right. So if we go back to that scale again here. All right. Let me bring this back up into view. All right. So uh, according to our dead weight scale, uh, we had, uh, that looks to me like 8,100. Uh, that's 8,200. I'm going to say it's about 8,170. Okay, so our dead weight is 8,170. And um, so our dead weight includes our light ship plus our stores plus our fuel. So I'm going to subtract our stores and fuel from this now. And that's going to, okay. Now tell me how much cargo I have on board. Stores, fuel. Okay, so the question is, of this 8,170 8, tons, how much of it is actually cargo? Because that's the stuff we're going to actually make money off of. So our stores, um, let's change these numbers here. Let's change this to 1,000. And let's change this to uh, 500. Okay, I, this was a previous version I was working off of, and I loaded it up here. Sorry about that. This is the version you have. Okay. So my stores is, I'm going to subtract 1,000. I'm going to subtract 500. Okay, and what's remaining is 6670. That's how much of the uh, uh, dead weight is cargo. Okay. All right. Uh, now, what's the maximum amount we could load of additional cargo? Well, again, there's a couple different ways we could do this. All right, uh, well, let's continue to do it off the dead weight scale. So if you look here, right now our dead weight is uh, almost 8,200 uh, tons, but our maximum dead weight is 1,678. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to have my maximum dead weight, dead weight max, okay, which I just pulled off that scale at 1,678. Now I'm going to subtract my cargo, which I just calculated. That's six six seven zero. All right. I'm going to subtract my fuel, and that was one thousand. And I'm going to subtract my water. That was five hundred, and I'm left now with two five eight zero. That's my remaining capacity. Okay, that's additional cargo that I can load. That's 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 how many more tons I could load. Now I could have also just taken this uh, ten six seven eight and uh, subtracted this uh, eighty one seventy, um, and I would have gotten that same number. I could have also used my displacement, uh, but anyway, this is how I did it. That's how you do it, uh, and um, this uh, you'll be doing a problem like this on homework one.